Something's Gotta Give by Camilo Cabello. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the chords you need to play. And they are all bar chords, but if you're a beginner, don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to play just the notes you need as open chords so that you can play this as well. If you're a beginner, you don't have to know bar chords. So if you know how to play a D flat, an A flat, an E flat, and an F minor chord, then I'm going to assume you know how to do those bar chords. If you already know how to play these chords, go ahead and skip ahead and I'll go over the finger picking later. But for now, I'm just going to be teaching you just the fingers you need on the chords so you can play along with the song here. So for our D flat, we're going to have our index finger on our fourth fret of our A string, which is our second string down. And our ring finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the G, along with our pinky on the sixth fret of the B. So this D chord is just open. We're not going to be playing that. So that's our D flat chord. For our F chord, we're going to have our index on our first fret of our low E. Middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the G. And our, pin and our ring finger is going to be tucked under on the second fret of the B. And we're only playing the E, the G, and the B strings there. Okay, so then for our E flat, it's going to be exactly the same as that D flat, but we're going to shift that shape up to the 6th fret with our index finger, and these two fingers will be on the 8th fret. So these pinkies on the 8th fret of the B string, ring fingers on the 8th fret of the G, and your index is on the 6th fret of the A string. And then for our A flat, Those three notes, so we're going to have our index on the 4th fret of the low E, middle finger is going to be on the 4th fret of the B, and you can put your ring finger on the 5th fret of the G string here. So how does that work? Alright, so here I'll show you. And that sounds exactly the same as this. G and the B, root note and the G and the B strings. Okay, so start out in that D flat position I taught you. Pick your root note A string, and you're gonna pick G, B, G. Root note, G, B, G, switch to your F. Now your root note's the low E string. G, B, G. Switch to your A flat. And then finally to your E flat. And that's all it is, so. Okay, so nice and slow here. That's all there is to it. So the tricky part is going to be getting the finger picking down. You can also use a pick and just go G, B, G with your pick. Um, and your root note does switch from the A to the E string. So just be aware of that. Those chords um, are something you can play as a beginner. Obviously it's not recommended. If you're really trying to learn guitar, you want to be practicing these bar chords. So you can play it like this. If you don't have that hand strength, those chords are yours to keep. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.